Okay, Art of Sports here with Tony El Kukui Ferguson. Man, I gotta tell you, man, when I heard your nickname, uh, it's one of the coolest nicknames I've heard. I was like, man, I've been scared of this guy since since I was a kid. <laughs> but how did you uh, how did you end up adopting that? One of my trainers, uh, he saw how intense I was. And he saw my ears. And he saw how scary I was with my eyes. <laughs> and he looked and he was like, when you train, you look like the boogeyman. You look like the El Kukui. So you got the ears, you got the long arms, and you're just scary. <laughs> And the neighbor kids from the church would come by, and then they would be like, "If you don't listen to the Kukui Viene, we're gonna get you." And it kind of stuck with me. Yeah, and, I, uh, I like it, man. It's it's definitely terrifying for uh, for us Mexican Mexican Americans, man. Um, obviously, you got a big fight, man, for the interim title against Khabib. Did you happen to catch his uh, Q and A yesterday? No. You know what? The one thing is, is once I start worrying about what everybody else is doing. I started losing mental focus. I worry about what I'm doing. I'm here teaching a seminar at UFC gym. I'm training different. I'm showing these guys how to train different. You know, with Tony Ferguson A and Snapdown City Academy, it's a it's a place of learning. And if I spend all my time worrying about what that's gonna do, that guy, the furry hat, it's gonna take me to a place where I don't wanna go. I wanna stay calm, I wanna stay cool and collected, because that dude, I've heard everything that he's said before. This is the third time we're gonna fight. That dude hasn't said anything that I haven't heard before. And as far as his Q&A, I've heard that he's just looking at Connor and he's looking past me. I don't look past my opponents, I look through them. And uh, I'm looking at the person that's right in front of me, and that's Khabib Nurmagomedov, March 4th, at UFC 209. Definitely had uh, criticism. He said that, that he felt that you lost the, the Castillo fight basically because it dealed with more wrestling because he was trying to wrestle you more and he feels obviously that's like a big advantage for him obviously you've heard that before he's a big sambo guy but what's you know how do you combat that in the octagon with him Ten Planet Jiu Jitsu Grand Valley State University wrestling Death Clutch MMA Tony Ferguson MMA snap down academy that's how we deal with that this dude belongs to AKA, but what I see with him is he's floating in the clouds with all those champions that are over there. And they, those are makeshift champions. They do a lot of talking. I stay in the grit. I'm here doing the things. I had to shave because I wanted to look nice today, but you should have saw me yesterday. I was grindy, I'm gritty, and I'm a grizzly bear. That dude might have wrestled bears when he was little, but not this <laughs> California grizzly. And that's the one thing that he doesn't have come, coming after him with anybody else. I've seen quit in his face. I know how to put the pressure. I know how to make him quit. I'm gonna put so much pressure on him, I'm gonna mop the mat with his hat. That's it. You, you talk about, you saw Quint in his face. You guys have been very respectful, you know, in, in, in the media and, and, and talking to each other, but it seems like when you guys were face to face, it got a little, you know, a little back and forth there. What, what, what were you guys talking about? Uh, you wanted to see my eyes. You wanted to check him out because the last time I was short him, the guy didn't deserve to see him. I don't want to see him inside the octagon because that's just something I feel like. That dude didn't deserve nothing. He's got a padded record, you're 24 and 0, but half of your fights are only two rounds, son. Here in America and everywhere else, man, we fight three round fights, five round fights, championship rounds. That's why I'm gonna test your conditioning, kid. I'm gonna take you into deep waters and you're swimming with a hammerhead. You're gonna get eaten up alive, buddy. So no matter what or who you have around you, nobody's gonna be able to go inside that octagon with you. We got the list of judges and the list of referees that are possible. Son, that's the only person that's gonna stop me from beating your ass. You're coming off a, a five-round fight against uh, Rafael. It seemed like great preparation. Obviously, he was a lightweight champion. He's coming off, you know, uh, a three-round uh, with Michael Johnson. Now, how much better is that kind of an advantage for you, being that you, you've had that five five-round fight already, kind of just recently under your belt? You're ready for this. I've always been ready for championship rounds. Uh, it's something I always prepare for. You guys know already. I, I don't like to be out of shape. I'm always in the best shape in the division. Even at 170 and 145, I'm in the best shape of everybody. And. Uh, when it was in Mexico, we went the five rounds, I could have went another five. It was great. I, I did all my preparing over in Big Bear. I'm a, I'm a contractor, so I took all of my stuff in my home gym, and I moved it out there, and I built it out there. Not one other person could do that. I didn't stay at a boxing gym. I, I brought my cage. I made my floating floor mat for my jiu-jitsu, and I, I built my bag stand out of wood, and I did my whole surrounding area so nobody could get in there. I had my privacy. I did a lot of things out there that I wouldn't have ever thought that I could do, but I left no seams unseen, and I left no screw unscrewed. And that translated right into my game, and I was almost flawless. Yeah, I know you look you look excellent, man. So, speaking about that, I want you, uh, you. You said how you know you 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 fought in Mexico. Speak on just being Mexican American in this game. There's not a whole lot of them in there, you know what I mean? Uh, and just kind of what it represents for your people. I'm sure your fans. You get a lot a lot, lot of love from the fans because of that. Claro, para mi gente es muy importante. Cuando yo estaba peleando en México, es una parte de mi vida tan gran y mejor porque las las comidas tan ricos y la gente tan amables en los lugares tan más limpiar durante mi uh, cuando yo estaba corriendo en las calles 
la gente está limpiando a las 3 de la mañana, a las 4 de la mañana y estoy corriendo en la, la otra, dime una mano. Every time that I was running by, I would, see, I would give somebody a high five. Or if somebody was pushing something heavy, I would stop and I would help them push it. So it was, hay una chance de mi vida muy importante y para mi familia para disfrutar un lugar de mi roots y me tengo una sangre muy puro guerrero de mexicano y yo estoy listo para este Russian y para toda la visión y yo estoy el campeón yeah, fans definitely see that man uh, they see it through the camera and obviously with, with, when you're with the fans you know we see it all the time